Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So I got a couple of new colours of paints coming. So I wanted to do a ghost swipe with them. So I got the Raldo Di Polo in metallic burst orange. So I don't find metallic oranges very often. They're actually one of the least colours that you see in metallics. So I wanted to try this. Um, I love orange. And I'm really excited about that one. And then there's this beautiful called metallic penny loafer, which is like a, a brown copper kind of color. Um, so that's a nice metallic, which is a new color as well. And I've added um, Payne's Gray because I don't know where my black is. I think I've mistakenly ran out of black thinking that this was black but it was um Payne's Grey. It looks black in the container but when you mix it up you can see it's got a grey tone to it but it's a very dark grey so that's quite 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 fine. So all of these here I have mixed up little cups which have four grams paint and 12 grams flow troll in them. So that's those three colours done. Now oh, um, I have also, sorry, just going to move my paintbrush I got caught on. Um, I've also mixed up a white, which is my base coat. So the white is 40 grams um, Montmartre white and um, 120, no, 4, 8, 12. 160 grams um, flow troll so it's about 200 grams in total so it's four to one with this um, the other ones are three to one but the white I make four to one which is a little bit thinner so what I do is I put this on I do the base coat and then I come back to do the colors what I will do is I will pause it while I do the base coat otherwise I'm just boring you with that, but if you do want to see it, um, just check out some of my previous um, Ghost Paul videos, because I do show it in some, I just don't show it in every one. Um, so I'm going to pause it and I'll come back once the ba base code has been completed. Okay, we're back. So I pour the paint on, I spread it out with my palette knife, and then I tilt it until it goes over all corners of the canvas and all sides and that's about it it's actually a simple process it's just a matter of having a coat across the whole surface of the canvas and make sure there's no like lumps or bumps in there so now we want to pour our colors on so i'm going to go the penny loafer which is the metallic coppery brown color first so you just give it a little stir just to make sure it's completely mixed in just before you pour now start off the canvas and end off the canvas otherwise you get big blotches and I always do wavy lines that's my little I don't know signature way that I do this so here we go so pour off Until you get off the canvas. Love the colour. Now the orange which I have forgotten the colour name. I'll have it in the description box. And again start off the canvas. and end off the canvas. I allowed that little drip to go on there because it's gonna get um, swiped anyway. Now we have the Payne's Gray. So when I do the, so this one's non-metallic. So what I wanna do with this one is I want to do it a little bit more centralized. A 
you can drip. When I know it's just going to be one drip, I don't mind. There we go. So, nothing too exciting there, but I like the colours together, so I think these are going to work really well. Really liking earthy tones lately, so now we have our swipe card. We want to start off the, on just over the edge of the canvas by just about a centimetre of your card and try and grab the middle of the paint. So, grab about the middle and just swipe it down. Don't push too hard. Otherwise you'll hit the edge, especially on the edges, because you'll end up hitting the wood part. And then you just move across, grab half again, and swipe. And you lift where that you want to. If you want to lift left, right, or just lift the card up, it's up to you. And wipe your card off every time. The only thing I will say is try to make sure you always grab in that same line. And you just keep working your way across. Quite simple. Just always um, double check that your card's not getting warped from the wet. And try to keep your lines relatively straight down, um, not too wonky. You will know what I mean. Some of these have gone a little bit to the side, but um, it's not too noticeable at the moment. But it's just best if you if you try to keep them straight. working our way across you can go quicker or slower I've done this that many times I can do it at a relatively decent pace just always make sure on the edges you don't push down hard because you'll hit the wood the the center part gives you a little bit of give but the edges once you hit that wood and you've gone down to the base it's not easy to fix so love the colors I do think I may have gone a little bit too far this way, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't always have to be centralized. You can do your line up here and do a little swipe there and a big swipe down. Um, I've done diagonals. I've done all different shapes and sizes. That's the fun part about this. It's fluid art. You do what you like. Now, <laughs> I knew you were going to stick on the edges. So I always find I need to pull towards me. Um, if you find pulling away, away from you is better, then do it that way. I just find pulling the paint towards me is easier for me. All right, wiping my fingers because I just turned it and got all that white on me. Loving this. Absolutely love it. I knew when I saw these colours first come out, I knew I, I was going to love them. But I had to wait for, um, <laughs> I had to wait for a decent payday before I could go buy them. Because I was trying to hold off buying lots of paint lately because I've spent a little bit. Um, and thought, no, I need to give myself a little budget. So then I got... I got a few different colours, but these two were the ones that I was really hanging out to get um, and was worried they were going to sell out before I got them, but they hadn't, so that was really good. Now, 
when you do this, same, have the card slightly off, but try to grab the same spot that you grabbed before, so you're getting the same area from where you're starting your swipe from. My knuckle touched the canvas right there. And now you're just repeating the same thing on this side. You'll see that I find the Australian float shot gives you these like cell lacing type of effects in it. Working my way across, doing different lengths of swipes. Always wiping my swipe card after each time. I'm going to turn the card around now and use the straight side again. Now the edge, just be ever so gentle. There we go. Awesome. Now this has just got to settle in. So they do look different to what I used. When I used to do these in the past, um, I used to get a little bit different results, but it could have been that my table was a different height. I find... Um, this is a bit lower, so by le leaning down, I get a sore back, so I tend to rush sometimes. Um, but I also didn't use metallics in my in the ones I did in the past. I did a beautiful one over here that was ready to go on my wall. And then I knocked something over and it put a hole in my canvas. So I was really disappointed about that. But this is it. This is the end result. Love the colours. So... The brownie colour is that penny loafer. The orange one is, let me double check what it's called. Oh, burnt orange. And the darker colour is Payne's grey. So where it's quite solid, it looks quite like very dark black. But where it's a little bit lighter and spread out, it does get that grey colour to it. And I think it was actually the right colour to put in there. Um... It's not too dark, but it's not heavy, heavy. It hasn't really made the artwork over heavy, which is really what I sometimes worry about when I add the black to it. If the black is heavy, you, you can get spots that become heavy and spots that become not so heavy with it. And it kind of gives it a, a different look about it. But this, very pleased with lots and lots of cells or lacing going on. All different colours. Love these orange ones in the darker area. Um, actually, the orange ones look quite good everywhere. So, most of them do. I'm really, really pleased with this. So, your swipe cards and your paper towel that you used, they're all... Get rid of them. You don't need want to use them again. So, I'm getting rid of them now while I can. And this is it. The cells are formed. Probably not much. This is kind of, the cells kind of appear within a few minutes. Um, and then once that's happened, you don't really get a lot of changes. So this probably won't change much compared to what it is. The only thing I will do, where am I? 
I'll get out my last swipe card because I forgot to do that earlier. On my edges where the paint is just running off, I just give a swipe, a slight little swipe. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just breaks it up from being one solid line. Kind of makes it look a little bit more like the the top of the canvas where you've got the um, the swipes happening. Alrighty, all done. Time for bring you down for a close up. Where am I? Okay, so there we go. So in the camera, sometimes the white comes out a little bit off white, but it's it's actually pure white. Um, I don't know if adding an extra light on there is going to help. Mm. You can see it's white when I get the light close and close to it. But yeah, it's just because it's a little bit shadowy because I really think I need like a ton more lights in here. Kind of makes it a bit hard. I haven't got enough floor space for all these lights. But that's the artwork. That's the finished thing. So let's come down and have a look at some of these cells. Let's look at these ones over here. Look how cool they are. Cells or lacing, whichever you'd like to call it. It, it is the flow trial that's doing it. But like bubbles that kind of look all the way along. Look at the colour in that swipe. Beautiful. So ghost swipes are one of my favourite techniques. I enjoy it. You can do so much different things with them with using different brands of paint. Um, you can change the angle that you swipe on, the pressure which makes a difference, but don't push too hard. That's the only thing I can really say. But yeah. I like it. I think they look cool. Um, they do suit um, being on a wall quite well. Um, the one I had on the wall fell down. It was above my bed and fell down on my head because I didn't put a strong enough hook in it so um i can't show you that but yeah so let me know what you think so leave a comment tell me if you like the colors um and i just got them from the online shop um they were seem to be new this year so that was good so comment like share and subscribe if you have not already just hit the bell and click all and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll have a look at another pour soon I'll probably, probably, this, these ones don't take too long to dry. Um, the ghost swipes are a bit quicker than most of my others. So probably be a couple of days before I get enough space to be able to do another one. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for another pour. All right, bye.